Hello everyone, and thank you for joining me here. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover, and yes, we're continue playing as the German Reich today and tomorrow, and then this campaign will be over. Uh, someone left a comment yesterday saying, Why is France called Nation Francais? Well, that's because this is Vichy France. In English, it's Vichy France, or something like that. Nation, well, it's basically French state, which is basically Vichy France for us. Um, yeah, and we're doing very well. This is obviously much further ahead of time than where I left you guys last time in 1944. It's now July 1946, and yeah, this is the world. I got a little bit too happy with, or had a little bit too much fun taking out South America. So Japan obviously decided to claim a lot of African territory, despite not being able to invade the United States or anything like that on the other side, even though the United States only has a total of 97 ships. And the Japanese have probably around 550. Go figure. So obviously in the peace deal, I will I'm gonna keep the Middle East. But the Japanese, they'll get a portion of Africa, maybe like South Africa, maybe a little part of Ethiopia. We'll see what happens. Italy does have claims on that though. Uh, but because all the fascists decided to join the Japanese instead of me, I basically when I took out Brazil, the who is this? Peruvians as well as Venezuelans decided to say, hey, you know what, that's a great idea. Brazil joined the Allies, so we're going to help tag team them. So basically, they cock-blocked me, and I couldn't get to Colombia. So I ba basically invaded other little islands in the Caribbean, even though the Japanese did the same, but I got Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, Haiti, Jamaica. I'm planning my next attack on Cuba, and then I literally invaded whoever was here, Honduras, and then kind of spread out that way. And right now we're fighting Mexico with a single army group, which, by the way, has a crap ton of planes on it. It has 2,800 um, tactical bomber wings and only 600 heavy fighter wings, or I guess 500 fighter wings. Uh, let's put that in half so it has better operational efficiency. But uh, I think we're doing very well. I mean, honestly, let's take a look at this. We're doing 16 points of damage to the enemy, like, every day. So, that's pretty good. That's, in my opinion, very, very good. Also, right before I started this, I declared war on Chile. And, um, with this many armies fighting Chile at once, I don't think they're going to be able to stand up to us. And next up will be Bolivia. I really don't have plans for attacking the Japanese faction, but, I mean, I wouldn't rule it out. If you guys would have to tell me today, for those of you watching the day I post this, if you want me to take out the Japanese... I'm feeling like I'm really not going to do that, but if you want me to, you know, leave a comment. Maybe I will, maybe I won't. I probably won't attack them, and we'll move on to a Kaiserreich country after this, but, um, yeah, we're doing pretty darn well. I'm just, at this point, I'm just having a little bit of fun with the Mexicans and the Americans. There goes Chile. Oh, wow, they had a lot of infantry equipment. Cool. I am drinking some coffee here, too. But I am having a lot of fun with the Americans and the Mexicans, like I said, and just letting them attack me constantly over and over and over, despite them just getting destroyed in every battle. Even though I guess my one division from Norway or somewhere uh, is retreating. It's a pretty good division. Hmm. Who knows? Regardless, I don't think the enemy will really be able to win here, just because I do have all 24 divisions on here. And these guys are... Yeah, they do have artillery on them. They're only 20 width. Oh, actually, they are attacking pretty darn hard now. Americans are killing themselves on the attacks, which is fine with me, seeing as we have so much air superiority and so much 32 points of damage, 26 points of damage, 25 points of damage. Just insane numbers. Oh. Let's do that, and let's add in... I'm just adding in so many tactical bombers now. It's not even funny. I'm almost out of tactical bombers. That's how good they are running. Just keep adding more tactical bombers. We'll see what happens. I've got a pretty good amount of fuel. So I'm really not too worried about that. Johannes Blaskovitz is a great guy. And I will show you... Oh my goodness. There, Here is the Argentinian Navy. So we sunk two battleships, three heavy cruisers, two light cruisers, and 18 destroyers. I do want to show you my fleet. So this is currently my patrol fleet. We have 10 out of 10 for task forces. And each one of these fleets, or almost every single one of these fleets, has either a carrier, a mixture of carriers, heavy cruisers, battleships. I do have carriers now, which is very, very good. We have a level 3 carriers, not level 2, level 3. 
And this is the air wing composition I have on them. The design for this carrier is okay. Could have upgraded this, but, you know, I wanted carriers. Uh, that's our main patrolling fleet, which, if I had more time, I probably would expand even further. Whatever. Let's go back, and this is my uh, main fleet. So earlier on, we did have four regular battleships, but I did replace those four. I put them in my patrol fleet that we just saw, and I replaced them with four. Even though this is only three right now, I have one refitting right now, even though it takes like two years, more than two years to do. But basically, this fleet will have four total battleships that are level three, with some very good stats. Very, very good stats. It's a little slow, but that's okay. Fairly reliable, pretty good armor, very good heavy attack, love it. With two carriers, which I'm ex actually expecting two more as well on the way. Will we see them before the game's end? Maybe, maybe not. And of course we got three heavy cruisers. I've been making a lot of lot of heavy cruisers. Uh, these heavy cruisers are of course level three as well. They're actually very good in anti-air. That's okay in armor. Uh, heavy piercing is not bad. Heavy attack is actually pretty good. Pretty darn good. And this is my design for my heavy cruisers. Uh, I did not. I was not able to upgrade these to level three heavy cruiser guns yet, but whatever. I think for the amount of firepower we have already, I think we're okay. And I do have some subs too, but these. This is another. Oh, I have a battle cruiser here. Another fleet. Another a second patrol fleet. So we got two. One heavy cruiser here, and then we got a heavy cruiser and a battle cruiser here. And I do have quite a few subs. And currently, let's see. Let's go put you down here. Combine you two. You have good efficiency, and you have... Oh my gosh, what the heck? Did you just... Okay, I did not realize that I had even more. Okay. Cool. Let's see, you have two, so that's already maxed out pretty much. I can add one more heavy ship here. Take, take you. Alright, and then... Actually, which one of you fleets? Even though this really won't change the war in any sort of way. This is... The fleet had that has 15 currently. Let's add in. We have 15. Let's add in three. We'll add in a battleship and two heavy cruisers. Cool. Let's cancel that. Go ahead and just put them on here. And this is the fleet, I think. Yes. So now this fleet actually has some capital ships. I'm going to save these capital ships in reserve just in case. But I didn't realize I had a couple extra already. Awesome. Even better than before. I do, obviously do have four nukes, more being made along the way. Let's go ahead and make some more nuclear reactors, because, you know, nothing says nuclear power like Germany. I can't shift-click or control-click a nuclear reactor on here for some reason. I am building a lot of roads up, too. Awesome. Cool. So that's basically what been, I've been doing, I've been, what's been going on since I left you guys last. And we are going to invade Cuba next with my super cool, super great marines. Mm. And there goes my water, so I can stop drinking that completely. Cool. I do have a lot of armies just kind of sitting around, waiting. Especially with the ones in Chile who are now done. Uh, next up we're going to attack is Bolivia. Because, oh, why not? Seriously, why not? coasts. Just go ahead and start guarding a lot of uh, Chile. And at this moment, we're just going to let the Americans and Mexicans continue to attack us because I don't think that they are really going to be able to push us out of here, especially with the amount of extreme air superiority or I guess tactical bombers that we do have here. Uh, I will let you know, I did have, you have to use console commands or the state transfer tool mod because I basically have already annexed Guatemala. That's mostly because El Salvador joined the Japanese alliance, and they took out a major portion of Guatemala's territory, so I couldn't advance any further. <sighs> but, nevertheless, they're dead, they're mine. And I just wish that these factions would not join Japan, when obviously you probably shouldn't. So, And I do have a lot of soldiers transferring over to the New World, just in case to help defend when the time comes. Seriously, Mexico and America, how many men are you losing? Look at all these countries we've capitulated. We've only taken how many casualties? Around a million casualties. A little less than a million casualties for us personally in the war against the Allies. That's pretty good. Uh, Canada's lost quite a few. Mexico's lost almost 2 million. The Americans have lost 1.8 million. That's not bad. Go ahead. I want these American soldiers... I want these German soldiers out of the water before we actually go to war with the Mexicans. Or, I mean, Me Cubans. Oh, God. I've been at war with Mexico for so long. Uh, they are still attacking us. 
like crazy. Uh, we can't pierce them, but our defense is honestly not too bad. Cool. Okay, our soldiers are out. Good enough. Go to war. And here comes the lag. Awesome. The Marines are off. It's actually really good to make six divisions of Marines. Usually I only make like four, because these are 40 with divisions, so you can only use really two at a time per province when attacking. <clears throat> Excuse me. But having three allows you to take like three different tiles if you want, which is actually pretty good. Uh, obviously, I guess we're really killing this division off. What's your composition? Three to five infantry in an engineer battalion versus 40 with two 40 with Marine divisions. Great. Send you across the river because actually you get a, a lesser penalty when you when Marines attack across the river, which is actually pretty good. Not bad. Not bad. And you guys landed. Great. You can, Okay, you already killed those guys off. Go to Havana. And I'm taking out Cuba because this will serve as a very good airbase for us to just, you know, wreak havoc in the Gulf of Mexico, off the coast of Florida, all sorts of good stuff like that. Let's go ahead and get some... Uh, I already have the Coast Guards doing that. Great. Coast Guards. <laughs> um, infrastructure here is, I guess, getting better. I am building quite a bit of... R 7 out of 6? Okay. Building quite a bit of radar here. Uh, yeah, just max that out as best you can. Uh, actually, this would be good to max out as well, because we will need a lot of air superiority. Let's see. I can annex Rex Commissariat. So, that being said, would you like to see me annex the Rex Commissariat? I think it might be a little too early for me to. I don't think they're fully Germanized. But leave in the comments if you want me to annex any of my Rex Commissariats, if, if it's possible. So, that'd be actually really cool. That'd be part of the Greater German Reich, which we are. And actually, our capital is no longer called Berlin, but actually... Germania. And did you know they have 10, they make 10 rubber in Germania? Yeah, I didn't know that either. Until I looked. Very cool. And yeah, Cuba is just, there's like no one there. Oh, they're, they're already on all adult serve. Wow. And how's this looking? Ace pilot promoted. Johannes Blaskovitz is getting a lot of XP from doing this. Holy crap. And the Mexicans and the Americans just keep saying, no, we gotta get in. We gotta save Mexico. Which is weird to think of as American, but. Um, these guys are actually getting tired. Pretty, pretty disorganized at the moment, but that's okay. Also, I do want to do something else before we're done here. Uh, we were close to having a little bit of a rebellion with foreign volunteers. I only have two divisions for my SS divisions, but let's go ahead and try one more. Scotland, Sweden, Estonia. Let's do Latvia. I want to compromise on a moderate recruitment campaign. 25% chance that general resigns in protest. Uh, so we, if we do the top one, oh, there goes Cuba. Great, great, great. If we do the top one, we get the Waffen SS Grenadier Division and another one of those. So it's two infantry divisions. We find a massive recruitment campaign. We get mechanized and armor. Uh, allow the OKW to recruit a small. You know what? Actually, for this one, I think I'm going to let the OKW recruit a small number of pers specialists and personal support so that they don't really are worried too much. But the next one we will do, we will actually get a lot more volunteers. So let's do this. So that makes them a little bit more happy. But let's pressure them immediately to do another massive recruitment campaign. Uh, well, actually, maybe for that one we should have done that. Whatever. Uh, we get... You know, we'll do that again. But I'm really waiting to see if we can get fund a massive recruitment campaign for the SS so we get two divisions at a time. So we'll do this one as well. But in Sweden, armored... I want, I want two divisions at once. Mechanize and mechanize. Yeah, we'll do this. And then they're kind of... Eh, about it. Screw it, we'll do that too. Cool. More SS divisions. Oh, mechanize and armor divisions. So cool. Actually, I have been making a lot of mechanized equipment as well. This is 18 combat width. That's not great. That really isn't great. Uh, I suppose you're 18 as well. And then you're 20 for the tanks, which isn't... Bad, your medium tanks, even though I've actually researched modern tanks already. And I've been replacing a lot of my modern my medium tanks with modern tanks. So let's see, does anyone protest? Is anyone protesting? General's protest. Uh OKW has final command and everything. Please do not resign. Good. And I have been doing um this foreign influence stuff quite a bit. Serbian Empire has 90% or more for uh Nash fascism as well as Croatia 
Let's keep doing Union of Greece. This one, this one, and this one. So we lose, we gain 0.4 political power a day after doing that. Cool. So right now we're just literally sitting here waiting to see how long uh, our soldiers will hold out against the enemy. They really don't like us, and that's okay. I do want to send you guys to the front, though. Oh, wait. Wow, we instantly fit them, fitted these divisions out with equipment. Holy crap. You know, for armor? Or hardness, at least. That's not bad. That really isn't too bad. Oh, do we have something here? Oh, nice. Cool. Since we took out Cuba, we already maxed out air bases. Awesome. Do that, and maybe, maybe we can begin... Uh, let's see, where would this go? Hopefully this goes... This port is built on the bottom instead of the top. Let's do that, too, anyways. Uh... Cool. Get some more supplies. And start seriously bombing the hell out of this area. Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Can put in another 800 heavy fighters. I think I passed it. Yeah. Cool. So, and that's 1600s for 400. Naval bombers probably aren't worth it for this, since America really doesn't have that many planes left. But, we'll start doing the Florida coast. That would be great. We're still winning in South America. I'm here just to suck up a lot of the American equipment as well as Mexican equipment and manpower in the Yucatan area, I guess. It's not really a place, but you know, area. Uh, you guys, and then you guys. Lots and lots. Uh, actually, we're going to do that just because they're going to have a buttload of planes here. An absolute buttload. Uh, for you, actually, we might do the same thing. We're going to need a ton of heavy fighters. So many heavy fighters here. And you still have... You completely can reach this area as well. That's great. Uh, let's see. We've actually sunk two British convoys. All right. And a British carrier. Great. Oh, that's where the British Navy is, huh? Oh. Oh, we sunk another British carrier. And then a battleship, a heavy cruiser, and destroyer. Great. Awesome. And we actually have air superiority now. This is why I love heavy fighters. Because when you invade the Americas or Asia or something like that, you just got to do that. Awesome. Do that. Uh, we're still defending. Oh, actually, we've lost the battle here. Oh, my goodness. They actually beat us out of here. Mexico, what's your manpower? Oh, you're kind of communist. Oh. Oh, that's because they still have Ejido worker militias. Oh, my gosh. They're actually pushing us hard out of this area. Which is actually kind of interesting to think about, but okay. Even though they were taken out by the United States earlier on, they still have that daily communist support. Interesting. Well, they're on extensive conscription, not that much manpower, and the United States has quite a bit of manpower, but they're still on limited conscription themselves. So that'll be it. Actually, how many planes do you have? I'm not going to be able to kill all their planes off, obviously, but we'll see what we can do. I do have nukes, as I did say before, so we'll see what that can do. But this is basically a checkup on what I've been doing, what we can do in the future. Uh, actually, I should have been doing this. I want to go to war with Colombia as well, just because we can. To piss everyone else off, right? We're Germany. You have to piss everyone off. And I have sent my tanks down here who are trying to get more supplies using or getting more modern tanks, really. Because right now my template uh, has one mechanized, a couple of modern tanks, quite a few modern tanks, but not enough. Not enough yet. Cool. And you know what? Since you guys are here, I'm going to let you come down here as well. The SS have not really had or been in a fight yet, so... And some of you are already on the way over here. Oh, you... Oh, maybe some of you are. Not all of you. Come on, guys. You got... Um... I really don't recommend coming through the coast of... Or, you know, by the coast of the United States. So, that's probably not a great idea. But, hey, hell, I mean, you know, bomb a destroyer. You know, that's a great idea. Bomb another destroyer. Great. That's another great idea. How many more heavy fighters? We don't have that many. Oh, God. I'm running out. That's not good. Just keep doing that. As we are literally just trying to milk the enemy for what they got. Ah, Wasser. Land Wasser Schlepper. Huh, amphibious tractors. Amtraks. Cool. Uh, what's next? 1946. Better land night attack. That sounds like a good idea. Oh, and I actually have one of the SS divisions on the front here. Great. So we're actually using the Denmark, the Denmark, Danish tanks. I guess technically they're German tanks, but the manpower of those people that who are driving the tanks and maintaining the tanks are actually doing a great job 
And hopefully, actually, Himmler can maybe get some experience. Who knows? Oh, no. Hasso von Manteuffel. But Himmler's actually the field marshal, so that's cool. It's weird to say. Whatever. Good. We're doing well. I've got all my armies here already just poised, ready to attack. But I kind of like this. I don't want to put any more armies on here just because the United States and the Mexicans might not actually attack us. If there's too many divisions on this line here. So. Oh. Japan. Japan. God dang it. Who took this? Wait. Who, who owns? This isn't. It says the United Kingdom. But it's gray. It might be. It might actually be the Confederated States. Because when I did that. The Confederated States got Panama. The, this is like the second invasion the Japanese have done. Ooh. I guess. You know. More power to them. But. The first invasion happened. 1945 they invaded North Carolina over here. Oh, it looks like they're trying to invade again But I want to s oh my gosh. There's a lot 12 divisions there in that tile in Florida 13 Jesus. Oh, yeah, let's get some better mechanized since we're using those in our tank divisions anyways Can I upgrade you? No, can I upgrade this? No cool Uh, But yeah, you invaded an area that's not really conductive to the war effort. and they invaded this area South Carolina I guess and then North Carolina they're still not on a you know a port and we can go to war with the Colombians next cool uh, tanks you're not really ready to go but I really don't care no oh, bracket shooting cool oh yeah I have still research carrier holes um better light guns light battery ships you know what Get some better heavy ship attack stuff Go to war, because that'll call in the Japanese faction members as well. So that'll be cool. Everyone's going to get called in, because they're going to join the Allies. Great, great, great. We have air superiority already. They're going to get attacked by Venezuela, Colombia. I'm going to take out Ecuador next as well, since we're here anyways. And it only takes 10 days. Nice. Uh, what is this? Two Venez... Is that Venezuela? That's Colombian destroyers. Four Colombian destroyers. Another Colombian destroyer. As well as four more Colombian destroyers. And the Japanese were pushed out of Florida. And they're getting defeated in the Carolinas. Oh, wait. What the heck? Wait, what is this? National Union of Greece. I did not realize they, my allies invaded up here. Why would you invade up here? Uh, Labrador. Good. I guess. Someone's over here. The Turkish... Oh, maybe the Turks invaded. God dang it. This is Turkish land. These guys might have invaded, like, the Bahamas and stuff, too, down in south. Why do you... No. Avoid this area if you can. I should have marked this earlier. Go ahead and avoid that. That's kind of suicidal when you do that. Um, For this, though, for my Marines, I really don't... Oh, my God. Look at all these divisions. For this... I don't want to try this too hard. I will send two marine divisions to attack but we'll see what happens Johannes Blaskovitz still level six just keep taking those attacks you, you're doing a great job it looks like the Americans are mostly in Mexico now there's not really eh, there's a few Mexican divisions here but that's okay that's definitely okay a couple of Mexican divisions or convoys were sunk yeah oh there's two American divisions there hmm now nice, I can go to war with Ecuador ah uh, and there comes Big ol' Venezuela help take out Colombia. Just keep on moving. If you take Bogota, you'll probably get them all. Cool. Kill that artillery division. Just keep adding to the coasts. It's great, great, great. Uh, Labrador is still under attack, unfortunately. But I'm surprised the Greeks actually did that. I'm really surprised, though, that the Japanese haven't invaded the United States in Alaska yet. Which makes no sense to me. That would be one of the prime time targets to hit. But maybe they don't have naval superiority for some reason. I don't know. Yeah, just keep an eye on Blaskets. Does Carl Egas here have anything? No. How close are you to learning stuff? So he's 75% away becoming a skilled staffer. Jungle Rat, Engineer, Commando, Swamp, Fox. Man, we're making a lot of uh, nukes. And we still can't get this province. Punta Delgata in the Azores. And there goes Colombia. Very good. And, of course, the pesky Venezuelans decided, we're not going to give you this territory, even though you've earned it. Uh, so be it. So be it. And we'll, then we'll take out the Ecuadorians. Cool. Just go ahead when you can. 
What happens if I take out half of you guys and tell you to march this way? Take half of you guys and march over here. I love this tile. Take half of you guys come down here. I just want to entice the enemies to attack me more, 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 more. Oh, the Mexicans are out of manpower. And apparently I'm out of infantry equipment. Actually, I'm not, but I am. Uh, they're sending me more infantry equipment, but but because I'm so close to the counter in the game where it says, oh, if you have over like 2.45 million guns, then sorry, but we're gonna have, you will end up having negative 2.5 million guns. So right now I'm just gonna click away on this stuff. Might help if I actually slow it down. So, so many guns. I'm making over six, almost 660. Thousand guns in stockpile. I'm making almost 11,000 guns a day. 11.6 thousand. Jesus Christ. So that's good for now. Cool. Uh, you know what, Marines? Might as well try it. I mean, we do have air superiority, right? Oh, well, we lost five plans in exchange for 14. That's not terrible. Good luck, Marines. Actually, I don't have anyone doing missions over there. What the heck? Um,. Do that, naval invasion support. And turn up the heat a little bit. Oh, unrestricted submarine warfare. Great, we'll do that for the next one. And we actually have a lot of our ships here who are probably going to get attacked. Maybe. Oh, wow, that's a lot of divisions. Cool, great. Go back to patrolling. And don't... I don't want you to stay in this area. But if we have air superiority, it should be okay. I mean, I have my ships set to you know, autonomously or independently go repair. This, though, Northern Bahamas, that's actually pretty good. Not bad. Get some more radar over here. Uh, some more of this, maybe. Maybe some more of this. So they feel good about themselves. Cool. Very nice. Very good. Uh, what is this? Patrolling? Oh, I want everyone to do this. Everyone just patrol these areas. Which, I could probably actually take this off, since there's probably not too many ships over here. Oh, baby, what is going on? Shut down enemy planes. Actually, yeah, if I lose a ship, I'm going to retreat my navy from being over here. Oh, God. Now I've really brought out a lot of enemy planes. But they're going to suffer for it. Nice. Keep shooting down those planes. Oh, man. Oh, God. That's really not good. We're going to lose some ships here, then. If I don't do anything about this. See, do you have an airbase? Oh, did the Japanese take that? Uh, it looks like I can maybe add 200 to 300 more heavy fighters. Go ahead. I'm gonna need you up here. Over here, Caribbean Sea. Go ahead and come up here as well. And you are actually tactical bombers. Help bomb the hell out of everything up there. And then add in some more heavy fighters. Cool. I will kill as many American planes as I has to, as much as I have to. Good. Uh, looks like Greece lost Labrador. That's okay. Things happen. And it looks like they're not really attacking us down here anymore. Uh, oops. Tanks, you should be good enough to go ahead. Cool. Great. Awesome. Awesome. Actually, how much manpower does it, do the Japanese have? Because they keep invading, but they keep losing all their divisions. They can't have a ton of manpower. Oh, God has some. They're on all adult serve, and might be one and a half million manpower. Hmm. Ooh. Nice, right, a British convoy. Very good. Very, very good. Yeah, they stopped attacking over here. I don't think that it would be conductive for me to attack. But I could be very wrong. What happens if I do attack? I actually haven't tried this yet. Well, it's not looking great, but it's looking better than I expected. And what I took some of you guys to attack this way as well. Even with naval su air superiority and a lot of damage being done, Ecuador has fallen. I should have saved for my tanks to do this. Wait, what are you guys doing? Um, do we have any more? Oh my gosh, we've got so much close air support, but I don't think we have the range to really use those. Just add in 800 more tactical bombers. Yes, they're level 1. Whatever. Cool.
go ahead and oh and we didn't win that well did we no we didn't i don't think we did but that helped the enemy continue to attack us so that is pretty much what's been going on and i'm not going to bore you guys with this constant tug of war between me and the enemy uh so what i'm going to do is i'm going to keep playing this and the next time tomorrow will be the last episode in this little campaign and tomorrow you will see me probably oh i don't know a good chunk of the way into the United States, but it's going to take me like at least an hour for me to really get a better footing into the United States as I drain them of resources, supplies, you know, manpower, morale, the will to live, and stuff like that. But with that in mind, guys, thank you very much for watching. My name, of course, is Mr. Mocha Lover. Uh, if you liked the video, leave a like. If subscribe if you're new, and I will see you tomorrow as we finish up and achieve world. North American and South American and Central American domination. Thanks for watching, guys.